Maryland, overwhelmingly, decisively, and lovingly, Maryland, we just voted, we just voted to codify abortion rights inside of Maryland's Constitution. We just voted to send Kamala Harris to the White House to become the next President of the United States. And we just voted. Overwhelmingly, decisively, and lovingly to send our friend Angela also Brooks to the United States Senate. Yeah, we did a thing. And I gotta tell y'all, I wanna say, I wanna say thank you to this state and this crew. Because two years ago, I was humbled and honored that together we made history. And now tonight, I stand, tonight I stand with y'all tonight, humbled and honored that tonight we made her story. And let me tell you something. We did something more than just make, his, make her story tonight. What we also did is making sure that Maryland, we are sending a fighter to Capitol Hill. We are sending someone to Capitol Hill who is going to ensure that we can codify Roe and once again make that the law of the land in the United States. We're sending someone to Capitol Hill who's going to focus on making sure that Congress works to get these illegal guns out of our neighborhoods and out of our streets and make our communities safer. We're sending a fighter to Capitol Hill who's going to ensure that we can create an economy that works for everybody and give working class families the tax relief that they so greatly deserve. We are sending someone to Capitol Hill who sees us, who shares our values, who understands in the words of scripture that no weapon formed against us shall prosper. and who never loses focus as to who she's fighting for. And so I want to tell y'all, I, people have asked me and they said, you know, why was it so important to get behind Angela so early? And I said, because the answer was simple. Because we love our state. And we believe in its people. And we believe that our state deserves the kind of leadership that will stand up for us, that will fight for us, and that will defend us, and does not need polls, and does not need other people in their area to tell them what's important. They understand what's important, they understand what they will fight for, and they understand what it takes to get it done. Yeah. And when I look at Angela, I don't just see a great leader. I see my daughter. I see my wife. I see my sisters, I see my mom, I see all of those who came before us, who I know right now, they are smiling from ear to ear and they are watching us from up high. And they are looking at us and they are saying, Maryland, we understood the assignment and we got the job done. And so for each and every one of you, listen, I know our voices are hoarse. I know our, 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 our knuckles are raw. We have no skin left from all the doors you knocked on. I know all your family members are sick of hearing from me. Say, I know, I voted, I voted, I voted. I got it. And the rest is coming. Because I'm telling you, 
Tonight, Marilyn, we did a good thing. Tonight, Marilyn, we did a joyous thing. Tonight, Marilyn, we did a blessed thing. And we are going to do something by sending Angela also Brooks to Capitol Hill. She is someone who's going to make a contribution to the world, but someone who will proudly and always say, but she's ours. And so to Marilyn, I want to say thank you. Thank you for all the work. Thank you for all of the effort. Thank you for the push. Thank you for the fight. Thank you again. Because I'm telling you, y'all, we have someone who's going to fight for us. And generations from now, we'll be able to look at the impact that Senator Alster Brooks is going to make. And they're going to look back at this crowd with proud, with pride and say, thank you for making it happen. So God bless you, Maryland. Tonight we celebrate. Tomorrow we get to work. And we did a thing, Maryland, didn't we? God bless y'all and thank you so much, everybody.